Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I want to talk to you about cannabis, hemp and CBD in cosmetics. First, let's clear up some confusion. Cannabis sativa is the botanical name for both marijuana and hemp. Now, these two materials are classified according to their cannabinoid content. Marijuana contains THC, this is the chemical that gets you high, and has varying levels of CBD. CBD stands for cannabidiol, and it's the material they use for medicinal purposes. Hemp, on the other hand, does not contain high levels of THC. In fact, it needs to contain less than or equal to 0.3% weight for weight THC to be classified as hemp. And it will also have varying amounts but much smaller amounts of CBD present. Now CBD from hemp has been clinically proven to provide relief from anxiety, pain and inflammation. It's the type of CBD that gets used for medicinal purposes. But what can it do in cosmetics? Well there's a growing body of evidence to support the use of CBD in cosmetics for a few different purposes. First there is the soothing benefit which can lead to a more even complexion, reduce redness, moisturize the skin, and relieve sensitivities. It's also great at balancing sebum, so it's an excellent addition for anti-acne products where it can control the inflammation of acne, it can control the sebum to reduce the amount of acne, and provides a much more pleasant skin experience for the user. Because of its skin smoothing benefits, it's also found applications in anti-aging and anti-wrinkle products. By smoothing the skin, the skin naturally has less wrinkles. So what's the issue with CBD? Well, it's viewed differently all over the world. And the regulatory status of CBD in hemp oil and cosmetics is changing. So I'll run through the current regulations around the world, but please take note this could change at any time. So before you release your hemp oil or CBD containing product to the market, please check with your local regulations for the most up-to-date regulations specific to your region. First, ASEAN regions follow EU regulations, which we'll go through in a moment. But just be aware that some ASEAN countries will have other regulations that supersede the normal cosmetic regulations. What this means is you may find it may not be permitted in some regions under current regulations. In Australia, cosmetics can contain CBD from hemp seed oil, where it's less than or equal to 50 milligrams per kilogram. That's 0.005% weight for weight. And the THC content must be less than or equal to 20 milligrams per kilogram. That's 0.002% weight for weight. Above this, it's not permitted. In Canada, CBD is banned, but hemp oil that is free from CBD is permitted in cosmetics. In the EU, CBD that is derived from hemp seed oil or synthetically produced is allowed. But it's again important to note that different member states may have different regulations that supersede this ruling. So make sure you check your local country regulations before releasing a product from hemp seed oil. In New Zealand, CBD is banned, but hemp oil is okay as long as it doesn't contain CBD. And in the US, CBD is okay in states where marijuana is legalized for recreational use and may or may not be permitted in other states in cosmetics. Make sure you check with your local regulations to see if CBD is permitted, especially where marijuana is not permitted for recreational use. Please remember these regulations I've just summarized are subject to change. So make sure you check with your local country regulations for the most up-to-date limits on CBD and its presence before starting your development work and releasing your product into the market. So what's some of the issues? Well, regulators wanna make sure they're protecting the public from any misuse or misleading terms associated with CBD, and of course, the all important safety tests. Where that evidence is lacking, they're a little bit more cautious. So again, we see the regulations change as more evidence about safety and benefits comes to light. So what's some of the great innovations we're seeing in this area? 
The first is Biochemica CBD Hemp Butter. Now this is from Holster, and what I love about this material is it contains a standardized amount of CBD. So if you're in a region where you're permitted to use hemp oil with CBD, you can use this particular hemp butter with a known CBD content, and you can promote that in your marketing. It of course has all the moisturizing and skin soothing benefits that are associated with CBD. Another great innovation is Lipobel Pino C by Mybel. Now this material contains encapsulated CBD and it's paired with pine extract for enhanced delivery and performance. It's got outstanding clinical efficacy results to even out the complexion, smooth skin roughness and reduce the number of wrinkles by up to 28% in 28 days. Another fantastic material with an encapsulation story for enhanced performance where your cosmetics are allowed to contain CBD. Another couple of great materials come from Vantage where they have encapsulated hemp oil. They have two versions. They have their Lipobead Bronze with no CBD and they have their Lipobead Leaf Green which contains CBD. Again, it's an encapsulated story to deliver either hemp seed oil free of CBD or to deliver CBD. And you can pick and choose between the two materials with a great visual effect and fantastic encapsulation story to suit the regulatory requirements of your region. Another innovative launch in this space is Hep Team Z by Tri-K. It's a hydrolyzed cannabis extract. It's been clinically proven to improve elasticity in the hair, but it's also great on skin applications where it strengthens the skin barrier and smooths and hydrates the skin to reduce skin scaliness. And here's another exciting launch, Canadia Sense by Vitrus Biotech. Now this is actually cannabis stem cells. So there's no CBD present, so you don't have regulatory issues with this material. And it also communicates with the skin microbiota. So there's a skin microbiome, a cannabis and stem cell story with this material. It's been clinically proven to benefit the skin by smoothing out mood wrinkles and modulate the mood state. It's like a neurocosmetic with anti-aging and skin smoothing benefits by communicating with the microbiome of the skin. Well, there you go, in a nutshell, the regulatory status of CBD and hemp oil in cosmetics right now, some great innovations and where we're heading to in the future, and the true benefits of what CBD can do in your cosmetics and personal care. Just remember, with any developments, to check your local regulations, and the suppliers I've mentioned can help you out with the regulatory status for your region where the materials contain CBD. I hope you found this video useful to navigate the cannabis, hemp and CBD minefield. And I hope it's given you some great ideas of how to incorporate cannabis or hemp oil into your next developments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.